Hey guys, this is Rob from ChainsawGuitarTuition.net and today we're going to be talking about why you can't shred. I did a video a while ago called Top 5 Reasons You Can't Play Guitar Fast. I'll put a link to that in the description in case you haven't seen that. Now this video is kind of a sequel to that. If you want to see more videos about shred and shredding on this channel, and just guitar speed and stuff, then please leave a comment and um, let me know because then I'll start making more videos like this one. So the first reason is that you're not getting things perfect at a slow speed and this really is the number one reason. It leads to poor coordination between your two hands and rushing through to play something fast means you, you just gain a lot of mistakes in your playing. Any problem or mistake or difficulty that you have at a slower speed will only be magnified when you play fast. So getting it good slow and slowly increasing it and correcting your mistakes as you go stops you getting into the situation where you've, you've got to a certain speed and you can't go any further because you've just got those mistakes ingrained in your playing. So this is where practicing slowly and diligently really pays off. The second reason is that you're not using a metronome when you're practicing at all. Now, I've done a video on this and why metronomes are so important, especially for speed building and shred kind of things. I'll put a link to that in the description. Being able to use a metronome properly is really important. It will not only work on your sense of timing, it will also allow you to slow things down or speed things up and keep you at a consistent speed. So you're not going to go faster for the easy bits and slower for the harder bits. And even like the tiniest variation in speed here will make a difference. You want to be consistent and a metronome will allow you to be consistent because it's always going to be consistent and on time. The third reason is that you're not holding the pick properly. At least you're not angling it properly towards the strings. Now I've talked about this obviously in my alternate picking videos. And also I've got a video on string skipping. Uh, string skipping in slow motion it's called uh, where it's basically a close-up of me string skipping and I talk about rotating the wrist when I'm jumping across strings this will also help with sweep picking if you slightly angle the pick in the direction that you're sweeping you can get a much more fluid motion across the strings now I'm holding the pick with my first finger and my thumb like this this is how I hold it now I'm not going to pick with the flat part of the pick against the strings because that, that's way too much friction as I'm playing, okay? And speed means you need to reduce friction. So, I'm angling the pick like this, so this kind of angle, still picking up and down, and this reduces the amount of surface contact from the pick to the strings. It also changes the tone so it's not so twangy, so I don't get, I get kind of a. Secondly, I talk about wrist rotation when you're string skipping. So if I'm playing from the A to the G string, I'm slightly rotating my wrist. When I'm playing the G string, the top part of the pick here is facing downwards, so that when I pick it, I come out of the string, like out of the strings like this, and I'm not, if I do it the other way, I'm pushing myself into the strings. Okay, this enables me to move over the strings, without clipping the D string. Now when I'm coming back, I'm doing the opposite. So I'm rotating it so the top of the pick, this bit here of the pick is facing up. So I'm coming again out of the strings. The fourth reason is that you're not practicing every single day. Now I know this is something that guitar teachers say and you should be practicing more. And there is a limit on how much you can practice in one day or one session, but at the end of the day, your fingers are muscles. Your, the muscles in your hand and arm that control your fingers are muscles. And you need to work those out just like you work out any other muscle. So if you get, like you don't work out for a while, you're gonna get slower and your muscles aren't gonna be as fit as they were before. Obviously guitar playing isn't such a huge athletic activity, but the point still stands. These are still muscles that need to be kept in shape. The fifth reason why you can't shred is something that I actually see quite a lot with students. They'll come into a lesson and be like, yes, I can play the thing we were working on last time. I can play it at full speed, I can play it twice as fast as what it's supposed to be. And then they go to play it, 
and they can't do it. And then the first thing I'll ask them, well, have you played today? Have you warmed up? And 90% of the time, the answer is no. So warming up is really important because it gets the blood flowing to your hands, gets them doing what they want to do. Um, so cold hands, both in the sense of freezing cold weather. So if it's a cold day, you might need to warm up a bit more and warmed up as in ready. Your hands aren't ready to play. You can't just jump in and play at full speed in a day. You have to do a little bit of playing, even if it's just basic chords or basic exercise. So if you like these videos, don't forget to subscribe. If you head on over to my website, you can get in contact for one-on-one -on -one guitar lessons over Skype or video exchange. Uh, if you want to see more videos like this on shred and shred playing, please let me know in the comments. And until then, I'll see you next time. Hey, it's this is going to be the top five reasons why you're not playing Number one is posture. Make sure you're comfortable. I've done loads of videos.